What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and we want to give you our three week update on our second move to Florida. In this video, we're going to give you all the details on how the kids are adjusting at their new school, how Eric's adjusting to his new job, and how we're adjusting to Claremont. And you're going to want to stick around to the end because at the end of the video, we're going to give you some things that we did a little bit differently this time. If you are new to our channel, first off, welcome. welcome. You're going to want to hit the subscribe button because we give you all kinds of videos about moving to Florida and all the fun things you can do once you get here. And on top of subscribing, you're going to want to hit that bell so you don't miss any of our uploads, especially when we go live to answer your, your questions. questions every Thursday night, guys. Let's get right into the video. Let's do it. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about palm trees and making normal breeze. I don't want to leave this sunshine state of mind. So I know that the first topic that Lindsay is just itching to talk about is schools and how the kids are adjusting. So Lindsay, take it away. All right. So the kids are doing fantastic. Fantastic? Fantastic. Those of you who have followed us for the long haul, you know the trials and tribulations we had the first time around with the schools in Davenport. Knock on wood here in Claremont, everything is going fabulous. I was telling Eric last night, I think the difference between the schools in Davenport versus Claremont is communication. It has been a game changer. It's been a lot like what we were used to in the state that we left, Wisconsin. We did not have this experience our first move to Florida. It was very different. The children's new teachers, they already text message me all the time. They check up on, on the kids. I get regular updates on the kids, little pictures of them in the classroom. I can talk to the teachers directly via text message, which is a huge, any of you moms out there or dads, the comfortability in that is awesome. And one other major difference that we've noticed is when you first enroll to the schools, the ones that we're enrolled in in Claremont, we actually have gotten to do walkthroughs of the schools. Now, this is something that we did not get to do in the schools in Davenport, which is crazy because when we first enrolled in the schools in Davenport, COVID wasn't even a thing. Right, exactly. I mean, the kids went to school for a whole year and we didn't even know what their classrooms looked like. That was very nerve wracking for Eric and I. We're involved to say the least. Yes. Where the kids went to school in Wisconsin is where I went to school. A lot of them had a lot of the same teachers I had. That's nuts. I know. So it was just, it was just, a nerve wracking to say the least of not even being able to see what the inside of the school looks like. Speaking of seeing the inside, what are our elves doing back there? I don't know. I promise you guys they're being appropriate. <laughs> in this angle we were looking, we're like, oh boy, that doesn't look appropriate. Extreme zoom in. Oh my God. Um, but anyways, yeah, so when we visited um, the schools in Claremont for the first time, we had a full tour. They even showed us classrooms and things that our kids weren't even gonna be in yet. And it was so comforting. Another thing I wanna talk about with the schools is our son Maverick. He's always needed just a little bit of extra help with reading. For those of you who follow us know that the schools in Davenport, it was like pulling teeth. I mean, so many tears and conference calls and leaving messages and no one calling us back to just get him help in the classroom. I would say that we probably had at least there was more than three phone calls that we had to have with the Dean of Students, with his teacher, with the guidance counselor. Everybody got involved in the last school in Davenport. And I'd say it was probably closer to five calls that we had to have before they actually gave him a little bit of extra help. All we had to do when we moved here to Claremont was tell them, hey, our kid needs a little bit of extra help in reading. And they accommodated him right away. Immediately. I mean, to the point where they were immediately getting him the help that he needed the first two weeks of school to now we're gonna do a follow-up the first week back from break to just go through to make sure what they're giving him right now is acceptable or hey, do we need to put some extra things in for him? It's just a night and day difference. So to summarize how the kids are doing, they're doing great. They're doing great. And socially, they already have been out with friends outside of school. Lucy's already getting invited to birthday parties. Brody's already been to the park and played a pickup football game with some buds from school. Adjustments are happening. They are. <laughs> The next topic I want to dive right into is how I am adjusting to my new job. 
it's an adjustment for sure. When we first moved down here in February of 2019, I left a job that I had been at for nine years. I did my research, I found a company that I liked, came here and I worked there for two years. Well, come to find out I wanted to be a realtor, so I switched jobs and did that. Lindsay got pregnant, she had health issues, we moved back to Wisconsin, I got a different job back there. Worked there for seven months, we came here, I did my research, found another great company, and again, I like the job that I'm in. But guys, think about that. I've changed jobs now, let's see, one, two, three, four times within the last three years. That's not something I'm used to and that's not really who I consider myself to be. I don't think I'm a person that jumps around no. from job to job. I want to find a job I love and stay there. It just so happens life circumstances have not worked out that way. However, every job that I've went to, I have absolutely loved. And the one that I'm at now is no different. You've had to adjust just as much as the kids have. Yeah, just like the kids have to adjust to new teachers and make new friends, I'm adjusting to new bosses, new companies that do business different ways, and I'm having to mesh with new employees each time that I go somewhere. And that can be a challenge for sure. So I'm sure all of you already know this, but that is something to definitely think about when you're planning your move to Florida. Adjusting can be hard sometimes. Luckily, I'm the type of person that really gets along with everybody and I kind of just go with the flow. So if you have that kind of attitude when you're going into a new job, you're gonna have no problem. So next, let's talk about how we're adjusting to our new city, Claremont. We love it, guys. We absolutely love living in Claremont. Now, maybe part of it is because the neighborhoods that we lived in in Davenport had short-term rental communities. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Felt that energy just bursting out okay. of me. <laughs> maybe it's because those communities had short-term rentals and this one doesn't. It just feels a lot more family oriented here. Yes. And our first day when we rolled up with the moving truck, we already had all of our surrounding neighbors like coming over, introducing themselves. Giving us cookies. Their children, inviting us Nobody to- Nobody gave us cookies. I know no one, I, I was well, waiting you're the you. one who said that. I was like, I thought you'd be like, really, Eric, who gave us cookies? <laughs> but the owners of the house brought us cookies. Oh, they did. We, we got cookies, I'm we sorry. We did get cookies. The owners came and brought us a housewarming. housewarming gift which was like so cool they even brought us like a list of all the things we would need like where the local grocery stores are like just everything they went above and beyond but yeah the neighbors came over and invited us to a birthday party, a birthday party. i mean it's been it's night and day difference this time guys what do you think about the hills during our walks i absolutely love it i know you're a wreck which i am too because the kids scooter but it's so different who would have thunk to be in literally central florida right okay the state known to be flat and you've got all these hills it's so pretty it's a blessing and a curse it's a blessing because it is so beautiful and we get to get a nice thigh workout when we're oh, yeah. on our walks but it is a curse because Mom and dad are a wreck when these kids are taking their scooters yeah. and bikes and skateboards down the hill during our walks. Especially Sullivan, he goes very fast. But anyways guys, so we're in a new neighborhood, it's brand new. In this neighborhood though, it's awesome. Like you said, there is no short term rental. So everyone here is in it for the long haul and it is awesome. Our night walks are so quiet, it's peaceful. It is so awesome not having rear neighbors. Now yes. we don't have the pool that we had at our last house. But we got the view, guys. We got a view over a beautiful lake, we got a couple palm trees, and we got an orange grove back there. It couldn't be prettier. The pool is coming, though. There's going to be a beautiful brand new pool with cabanas. Cabanas, gas grills. Gas grills playground. outside. Playground. They're building a big um, grass area for whatever, I suppose, you want to do soccer, football, whatever. Take a nap. Take a nap. But I'm so excited for all those things to be finished. As far as our location, guys, we literally have the best of both worlds. We talked to you guys about the beautiful view and neighborhood that we have here, but as soon as we get out of the neighborhood, everything we need is within a real short drive. The kids' schools are close by. We're in a perfect location as far as where the kids go to elementary school and where our oldest Brody goes to middle school. It's about an eight minute drive to either one in opposite directions. Lindsay already knows where Target is because she's got that little mom beeper that every mom has that just leads you to the nearest Target. Guys, I didn't even need to put my GPS on. Like, I just- Of course not, you got the beeper. I know, I got the beeper and I got me right there. Publix is close by, Walmart's close by, Walgreens, CVS, everything we need is a short drive away. So we couldn't be happier in that aspect. 
Guys, before we get into the rest of the video, let's share some exciting news that we have for you guys that if you've watched our last couple of lives, you might already know about. We are happy to announce that we are now Amazon affiliates. Now, what does that mean? That means in the description of this video, there is a link to a product. Go down to the description right now, click on that link. Now, you don't have to buy that product, but anytime you click on that link and do some shopping on Amazon, whatever it is, it's not gonna cost you any extra and you'll be supporting our channel. So if you could do that when you go to shop on Amazon, we would be so grateful to you. It would help out the channel and allow us to get new equipment and help bring you all these new videos and bring you new locations that you'd love to see. Now let's get right back to the video. Now, as promised guys, we told you that if you stuck around till the end of the video, we're gonna have something special for you. We're gonna talk to you about things that we've done differently during this move that has made it so much easier for us. Hit him with some truth, Lindsay. All right, guys, so I'm gonna tell you the biggest secret on helping making your move to Florida successful. And that is something we didn't do the first time around, and that is open ourselves up. We have friends. Previously, during our last move to Florida, we were extremely private people. We did not put ourselves out there and allow ourselves to create that support system around us because we didn't have our family here. Now that is so important. When you're leaving a place that you live and you no longer have family around to be your support system, you need to replace that. Guys, I am telling you, if you can take one piece of advice from Eric and I, and that is you need to build a support system around you. If you're in a situation like Eric and I, where you're, you're already stepping out of your comfort zone. Eric and I, we're pretty shy for the most part. And like he said, we're pretty private. So we were already doing this leap of moving across the country with nobody here. And we were just getting into the motions of dealing with schools being different, dealing with work situations being different, just every day being different. And the hardest part about that was not having somebody else here to talk to about it. It's a little bit different for us anyway, because we've already gone through it. But those of you that have not made this move before, it's gonna be your first time, you need to create a support system. How do you do that, you may ask? Well, first I would start off by joining our Facebook group, duh. Um, <laughs> there's always people on the Facebook group that are moving to different parts of the state. And believe it or not, guys, lots of people move to Florida. And guys, they're going through the exact same thing you are. They're going through the exact same emotions and the ups and the downs and all of that. So you already have so much in common. We have built this amazing little community of just wonderful people and they all support each other. And on top of joining our Facebook group, we also recommend joining a local group for yes. the area that you're going to be moving to. Now, these are all found on Facebook. You can look up, for instance, we live in Claremont. There's like a Claremont community group. There's a Claremont, Claremont Moms. Moms group. So wherever you're moving to, there's gonna be groups similar to that. Search them out. And there's always people, I always see posts on there, any moms wanna meet up, you know? Yep. Anybody that's new here want to meet up for a coffee. You know, there's people wanting to meet and make friends and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. And that. you guys, there's a group for every place, for every community, for every neighborhood. We, When we found out that we were gonna be located in Claremont, that is the first thing Eric and I did. We got on all the Claremont groups and people have been so helpful. What better than the people that are, are here and have went through the things? So. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. To have friends. To have friends. No, you guys, like seriously, being able to sit around and host dinner parties and host Christmas and not only like people for Eric and I to lean on, but our kids. I'm just so excited for what the future holds. So of course, nobody can replace your family, but guys, you gotta remember, there is absolutely nothing wrong with making new friends that also turn into more family. Exactly. We feel so blessed to have the people we do in our lives. And it's from taking that chance and opening not only our homes, but our hearts to new people. And already in this short time that we have spent with them, they already feel like family. It is just such a comfortability. The fact that like our kids hit it off so well, so we can be chatting and, and visiting and you hear our kids upstairs laughing and you parents out there, you know what I'm talking about. You know it's all the feels and it definitely is making this transition again so much easier. You're giving me the chills. Yes, I It know. could just be that it's, you know, second day of winter and the doors open, but yeah. you're touching as well. I know, very touching. 
So that is it guys. We hope that you got some sort of feel of how we're adjusting to Florida. And we hope that it helps you with your move to Florida. Or if you just moved to Florida, hopefully you can take some of our tips and start your adjustment. And guys, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. You're gonna wanna hit that follow up because we have got a video for you guys. We have been getting so many questions about what has brought this sudden move on, why the sudden move to Wisconsin and come back, what kind of led into everything. So the title of this video, you gotta look out for, it's gonna be Eric and Lindsay Bear All. <laughs> Oh. No, maybe not. Maybe that won't be the title. <laughs> so we're going to be answering everyone's questions and make sure you're watching out for that one. Buckle up. Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. Super wild. Put on that five point harness. Hang on. Vroom, vroom. As always, guys, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for, for watching, watching and we'll see, see you next time. time.